Thanks Mino Project, not many of us can remember when a burger was just 12 cents. But John Mino is taking us back in history to recreate those times. Just make sure you have the right currency. It's a story you'll see only on NBC 26. I have to be honest with you. One of my favorite things in the world is traveling to small, little, out-of-the-way restaurants that have stayed true to their roots. One such place is actually legendary on the lakeshore. It was 1948, and Manitowoc was buzzing. Ships were being built, pots and pans pressed, and an entrepreneur decided to build a modest restaurant on the city's south side. Who knew that 65 years later, Lates would still be a hot spot. I've been coming here since I was six years old, and as of yet, I have not gotten tired of the food. Actually, Carl liked it so much, he bought the place. Just the third owner since Truman was president. I would essentially say that uh, nothing has changed much. We've added some things to the menu, but the things that made Lakes great from the beginning are still here and unchanged. The most legendary item on the menu, the deep fried cheese curds. I had them 30 years ago here when I was in Lincoln, and we came back from California. This is the first place we stopped. While most items are original, Carl isn't afraid to experiment just a little. How does somebody decide, you know what could be good in a malt? Bacon. Uh, it came to us in a dream, really. Back to tradition, Nancy Klein has been here for 50 years. She's seen it all, literally. The high school kids, I can remember when they joined the M Club and they had a street from the high school down. That's a memory. You can feel the history as soon as you walk through the door of Lakes, but if you really want to take it to another level, watch this. All right, Carl, we've got three cheeseburgers, onion rings, Fried cheese curds, how much? 77 cents. 77 cents, if you use the right kind of money. That's right, pay in silver from 1964 before and get 64 prices. We converted our prices into pre-1964 U.S. silver coins to illustrate that prices really haven't gone up. It's the value of the currency that has gone down. So dig out the silver, forget the diet, and get ready to feast at one of the Lakeshore's guiltiest pleasures. Okay, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I shared all that food with my crew. Mino, NBC 26.